Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today I thought I'd take a look at some of the new uh, desktop environments that Manjaro has released over the last few days. And the first one I'm going to take a look at is the release with the Budgie desktop. Now, I have never used Budgie before. Uh, so, but just for by way of introduction, um, Manjaro is stating that uh, Man Budgie is designed with the modern user in mind. It focuses on simplicity and elegance. It's not a fork of another project, but written from scratch with integration in mind. And it tightly integrates with the GNOME stack. So what they're saying is Budgie can now emulate the look and feel of the GNOME 2 desktop optionally via a setting in the panel preferences. So basically what that is, is, well, let me, let me explain to you what you get out of the box. Out of the box, you get this test, this desktop, this plank dock is on the left and it's hidden by default. Of course, it reappears when you put your mouse against the left and this panel, the main panel is down at the bottom. So I uh, moved the main panel to the top the move the plank panel to the to the bottom uh, I'm running the default plank configuration but you can change that let's see yeah there's a mat there's a transparent but I prefer the default so um, I made a few adjustments uh, on the sizes of the panel, the icons, which are, uh, it's easy to configure. So it's pretty much intuitive. You can hide, you can, you can do the uh, Intella hide. Uh, and so if you bring a window down, well, actually, I guess it has to be a, there it goes. So uh, it, behaves pretty much as uh, any dock panel combination would. Now, so I like the, the plank at the bottom and the panel at the top. Now, if you right click, and I'm gonna minimize this browser for a second. If you right click on the panel and select preferences, um, where it said that it uh, optionally can uh, resemble the gnome panel that's this setting right here activate well go down to the panel that's this setting gnome panel theme integration so if I click that off you can see it goes to a transparent panel with the shadow because the shadow is enabled so I'm going to get rid of the shadow so if you put each of these off you end up with a transparent panel and um, some people like that look I, I prefer the black and I'm going to put the shadow back you can change the position, the size, uh, the auto hide. For menu, um, menu label on panel, that's just adding the word menu to the next to the icon up in the top left. Now, you do have a, a couple of options on the menu. If you go to a compact menu, this is what you'll see. Okay, and it's it's set up by categories, but you have to scroll through them. Okay, so that's a compact menu, but you do have to scroll through all of the categories. If you switch that off, you get your categories on the left, but you still have that scroll on the right. However, you can you can uh, eliminate the need to scroll by clicking on the various categories. Now one of the things I noticed is that when I added applications to the system, they didn't show up in the menu right away. As a matter of fact, G, uh, GUVC View didn't show up under sound and video until I rebooted which is kind of strange. Um, X screensaver, uh, I still haven't seen that show up. Uh, I installed it, but I don't see it in any of the menus. 
and it's not in the control panel. So the only way I was able to activate it is through the through the uh, terminal. Now, speaking of the settings, there's the there's the control panel. It's base it's a basic control panel. If you're you know it's it's kind of like a, a XFCE. Um, it's got all, all the options that you need: sound, printers, power, Bluetooth. Everything is represented quite well. And uh, if you you know if, if you've been using Linux at all, this uh, settings menu won't give you any problems at all. It's pretty intuitive. Okay, so let's see. Applets I have not uh, played with, um, so I'm. That's something that if you decide to take a look at it, you you can play with those, but. Um, I assume this tray applet, you can see this icon, there's one up in the top left. If I right click it, it brings up this menu. So uh, so the, the, those are your applets. And then appearance, uh, there is a dark theme. You can disable the dark theme. I downloaded Numix because I prefer Numix to the, uh, I believe it was the Evo Pop. Yeah, that came, th I'll show you what it looks like out of the box. I think it had the Evo Pop uh, icons also. So uh, that's basically the way it looks out of the box. Uh, I prefer the dark theme with Numix and Fienza Darkest. That's the way I prefer it. So, uh, so uh, as you can see, I've got everything uh, loaded up in the top right. I've got Synapse, Redshift, Clipit, P Sensor. Everything is represented. It. Uh, configured my ethernet and my Wi-Fi right out of the box. Uh, let's see, I didn't install a whole lot. Um, I installed my accessories, my utilities, and I installed GUVC View, Kazam, OpenShot, Simple Screen Recorder. And I think I downloaded SM Player. But it comes pretty much bare bones. It's not there's not a whole lot loaded in when you install it. But as with any uh, Manjaro distribution, it seems to be quite solid. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for the Budgie uh, desktop. I will also be doing the Enlightenment and the i3 desktops. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put that together as one video or three separate videos but uh, depends on how long each of them run um, but uh, as always guys please rate comment and subscribe and i will see you soon take care